Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're discussing Mandela effects and other like. Thank you for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela effect means. Hey guys, I have a, a amazing discovery um, that I would I would like to ask you guys something. Okay, first of all, um, first of all, how many people other than Jesus and Lazarus, Lazarus, uh, excuse me, have um, do you remember being raised from the dead? And Time's up. <laughs> I, 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 me, myself, I only remember um, Jesus and Lazarus, oh, Lazarus only. Um, but as I'm as I'm handwriting the King James, and I see these errors popping up left and right, um, it's almost blasphemy. You know, when you think about it, when words are being rearranged and changed, um, I'm looking at the King James Matthew ten verse eight. And Jesus gives an order to the uh, disciples. He says, go out and and he says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, and freely ye have received, freely give. I don't, do you guys ever remember Jesus giving them the power or the ability to raise the dead? Now, I, I know some people use that today as an expression, you know, raising the dead, the people that have fallen asleep. But seriously, um, it says here, raise the dead, literally. I, I don't remember what the exact words wa was, but um, Jesus is giving an order to raise the dead now to the disciples. If you look at Matthew 10, verse 8, and I, I, I usually look at King James uh as a reference okay uh and, and devils is another mandela effect because i can i can prove to you because it's in the same line I'll, I'll this is actually two mandela effects uh devils used to be demons uh and it's not the same thing trust me devils and demons are two different things uh because there's only one devil and that's lucifer or satan if you study your Bibles. Now, I, I'm a, I'll am ai tell you guys, I'll be honest with you, I'm a Roman Catholic, but I am different because I read the scripture more than a lot of people do. Um, you know, but um, you, if you if you actually like pay attention in, in any church that you go to, you hear the gospel, um, you know, blessed is the man who has the ears to hear. Okay, so I'm, look, I'm looking at AMPC because this gives you a wider angle here. Uh, um, cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Um, see, this? They, they, all the other translations say demons, but for some reason, King James says devils. It's not the same thing. Trust me. It used to be demons. Uh, let's see. So I, wanna, I want you to think about what you remember, okay? Because I don't want you to just match your memory with mine. I want to ask you guys if that's what you remember also but um i'm seeing another verse in matthew 9 verse 18 and uh it talks about when when he spoke these things unto them behold there came a certain ruler and worshiped him saying my daughter is even now dead but come and lay thy hand upon her and she shall live so i don't i don't remember this guys uh there being a second lazarus a female uh lazarus if you if you um as you will here. Um, but I remember uh, she was actually in the process of dying. Okay, she was like, she had some kind of blood disease. She was diseased and ill. But now all these translations are saying has just now died because they're changing the Greek. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, if you look at um, the, the word even now, I looked up the expression even now. Even means, in archaic, it means evening. Um, even, evening. Okay, so if you click on evening, all right, it's a noun. Uh, the period of decreasing daylight between afternoon and night. So something is happening where something is decreasing. She's getting more and more sickly. Um, I, I don't remember a woman, uh, another person dying other than Lazarus. Uh, because that was like a big thing in the gospel. But now this is blasphemy. Okay, so this is the third Mandel effect that I'm pointing out here. Um, and let's see. The, the other thing I was talking about was 
um, about rousing or waking, raising the dead here, raising the dead, the expression, um, or not the expression, but it literally says, raise the dead here to the disciples. Jesus is saying it and is blasphemy. It says here, um, let me look at the, I'll show you the translation here. Uh, if you go to Matthew, follow in your Bible to Matthew 10, 8, um, you'll see it. that's what it says now. And demons and were devil. Uh, demons was devils. The word is, uh, the Greek word is de, deimonia. Deimonia it means demon, demons, uh, not devils. So where, where in what universe is that word devils? Okay, uh, that just makes no sense. And I've been I've been pondering what the word uh, actual uh, like devil means. Uh, it, and to me, it means like like vile, like of the vile, de vile. Um, I'm, I'm trying I've been since I've been studying the Greek, I've been looking at these word origins. And it's just weird how you can come up with stuff, how you, how, whatever uh, comes your way. But um, it says here, let me read it. I don't know if you can see it, but ones being infirm, ye be curing. So curing the sick, lepers be cleansing, okay? Dead ones be rousing, okay? Where does it say rising or uh, raise, raising? It means, the word rousing means stir up or, or wake. You're awakening something or someone. Um, not, I, don't think it's, I don't think the word was raising. And it says here, be be outcasting, ye got gratuitously, be giving. So uh, freely ye have received, freely give. Okay? So my point being, I, I don't remember this, guys. I don't remember the apostles having the ability to raise the dead. I remember them curing the sick, curing the lepers. I, I remember them um, uh, doing other deeds, but I never remembered them being able to raise the dead because that was a thing for only like Jesus could do that. You know what I mean? Um, and God help me. I, I hope to God that I'm not blaspheming because of these stupid translations. Um, I worry, you know, that I might be saying the wrong things, but please God help me. Um, let's see. If you look at the one I was telling you about, about the female Lazarus, there, let's see, these things of him taught speaking, okay, while he, he spoke these things to them, lo, be perceiving, lo, okay, uh, let's see, the, the main, okay, a ruler, the chief, one coming, he worshipped, okay, he came to Jesus, okay, saying that the daughter of me, okay, my daughter, at present, just now, deceases okay it doesn't she it means she's dying she's not dead does it say deceased no it says she's dying but coming it says here but on placing the the hand of you on her and she shall be living that makes more sense to me that she was dying she was deceasing dying but now she's currently dead in this reality? I mean, what is going on with the world? All of these translations, okay? My daughter has just died. It reminds me of that song, Heart, I just died in your arms tonight. And I know that's very random, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I love to sing, though. Um, anyway, so I'm not trying to get too far off tangent here, but I believe... I pointed out like at least three or four Mandela effects with just these two verses, guys. Um, and also in the next line talks about purses, if you look on. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for checking out my videos. Have a great Mandela effect night. And God bless.